All right, guys, check it out. If your MacBook Pro is missing rubber feet like mine, watch this video to find out how you can replace it for a really low price. Let's do it. All right, so the first thing I want to mention is I got these for 99 cents from eBay. Don't go to Amazon or anywhere else. Uh, eBay will actually offer these for 99 cents and they're free shipping, so it's your best bet. So for this install, you're gonna have to remove the bottom casing on your MacBook. And to do that, if you have a Phillips uh, screw, you're gonna need the Phillips screwdriver number 00. And if it's a Torx, you're gonna need a T6. These are really small screwdrivers and you can find them on eBay, I'm sure for really cheap. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get your screwdriver and remove the 10 screws on the back side of your MacBook Pro. They're located around the edges. Okay, so you may have noticed that on the black side where the bar is on your MacBook has three big screws about this size. And they're the only big three screws that are on the tin. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you put them back in the same location because you don't wanna damage any components inside your laptop. Okay, so once you've removed all the screws, you're gonna need your fabulous pink hair dryer. Doesn't really matter. Um, of course, your rubber feet and your rubbing alcohol. Now, the reason we're using the rubbing alcohol is because we're gonna actually clean the area before we apply the rubber feet, and we wanna make sure it's clean and dry because alcohol dries the fastest, and we don't want any wet spots on there because the adhesive won't stick. We wanna make sure we clean, I'm gonna clean both sides, the inside and outside, and um, just get your alcohol. So this is a close-up of the rubber feet. All you need to do is take the plastic off of one. And then I just got a pair of scissors and cut out an individual one that I wanted to use and save those three for later. And this is a close-up of the actual inside of the rubber foot. You need to match that hole up with the casing on your mat. Now I recommend using a pair of tweezers to heat it up so you can remove it from the adhesive without burning your hands. Now align the small groove with the small hole on your casing and apply pressure for about 15 seconds. Now this is the tricky part, but you have to burn it a little bit so you can actually move part of the rubber part over the casing so that way it doesn't fall out. And this is what it looks like. It doesn't look pretty, but it does the job. All right, so once you've done all that, all you have to do is put it back together. Now remember, uh, the three long screws are on the black hinge part. So make sure you put those three back in the proper position. All right guys, thanks for watching. That pretty much wraps up the video. If you guys liked it and it helped you out, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. See you guys on the next one. Peace.